So if you want to know what I brought back from Mississippi, um, the Cretaceous fossils in Mississippi, I already have them cataloged and stored. And so I'm about to open it up for you guys. This is part one of the Cretaceous fossils in Mississippi. Here we have a Turritella snail right there, beautifully preserved fossil. And we have here a few clams, um, some exogyra. That right there is from the Demopolis chalk. That's a Pachyriozotus tooth. Um, this is a huge exogyra that I found in the Ripley formation. That's pretty big. It's one of the biggest exogyra specimens I have. I've got another Turritella snail here. That's another specimen there. I had to keep that in tinfoil because they're very, very fragile. Here's a Pycnodont multibilis, to, uh, multibilis shell. That's from the Demopolis chalk. I've got some crabs here. That's a uh, Dakota Cancer Australis. That's the most common crab you'll find in the Ripley Formation in the Blue Springs area. So that's part one. That's row one. And this is row two. So check that out. Right there is a huge crab. That is a big crab. This is the biggest crabs that I found out there in the Ripley slash Coon Creek formation. Here are some other exogyra shells. Back there, I'm probably not going to open it because they're super duper fragile, but these are nautiloid specimens with the iridescent color uh, on the shells coming from aragonite. Here's some other shells, some stuff back here. I've got some beautiful crabs. There's a crab right there. A few other crabs. Dakota Cancer Australis is the most common one. Oh, and here's the iridescent color coming from these nautiloid shells there. So that right there, the iridescent nautiloid shells. Those are really neat looking. So yep, these are the fossils I collected from the Ripley slash Coon Creek Formation in Mississippi. These are my first Cretaceous fossils that I've actively collected, and I'm very, very proud of the material that I've collected. So I will uh, look, we'll look at more collections further and uh, I'll see you soon.